All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can edit down a video and convert it into a GIF using easygif.com, which allows you to convert whatever small video you want into an animated GIF that you can easily put onto places like Discord to make a funny joke or just to share a cool little video clip for whatever reason. So to do this, all we have to do is go to the GIF maker and then I'm going to grab uh, what looks interesting. Let's grab Saitama versus the Carnage Kabuto from the anime One Punch Man and give that an upload. It should only take a moment. It's only like 31 megabytes, although depending on how much this website's getting used, it might take a couple of minutes for you to upload stuff. Um, and do note that the upload limit is a file size video of 200 megabytes or less. And that's sort of like one of the limitations for most online editors is that if you've got really big file sizes that are, you know, within gigs of size, that's when you need to start looking at using a video editor that's primarily on your computer, not something that's running around on the web. I do know there are editors out there that can handle large bulk files. But the main issue becomes the time it takes to upload all of the footage and then start to work with it. it. Tends to be easier to do that at home than to try to do it over the web. All right, so here's the video. And this video, first I'm gonna mute the sound because that's not gonna come through in the GIF anyway. So the main issue we've got now is this is a three minute long video you could convert this into a GIF, but really what you want is something that's small, compact, and short that is easy to share online. And that's really the objective of easygif.com. It's not even going to really let you produce a GIF that's longer than a minute in length. That's kind of its objective. So what we wanna do is we wanna use our little time scroller here kind of figure out what point during this video we need for comedic effect. And the whole idea is this character is so un like perturbed by the villain that he's more concerned about missing out on a big sale at the local supermarket than defeating this monster. And so I just want to show him getting smacked by the monster and not really caring. So this is a good point right here. We'll save that current position at 123 seconds. And then we want to go until he has smacked the monster into a million pieces. And that will be the end of this gift, presumably. I think that would be a good comedic timing thing, at least for what I'm looking for. So he goes bloop. And then the monster is in a thousand pieces and he's freaking out because he thinks he's missed the big sale at the supermarket. So that's like a little under 20 seconds long, not even 30 seconds between 123 and 140. So from here, we just have to do a couple of settings tweaks depending upon, you know, what we picked up here to export a nice GIF. So the first thing is we want something that's the correct size. Now, the first default sizings are usually in a box shape, not a rectangle. So what we want is instead of 16 or 600 pixels by 600, we want 600 by whatever the width is to make the correct aspect ratio for this image. And then we want to say like, how long is this video? So this video is like 25 ish seconds. So 12 frames per second, we can probably get away with. And then with the method, we want to use the codec. That's the newest, which is FFmpeg. You can also change it to these other ones. Um, some of that could be useful, like preserving transparency. If you have a transparent video is always a good idea, but you'll know when you want to use these. Um, for the most part, we're just going to leave it on FFmpeg because it's fancy and does the job. And there's too much moving in here for us to use this optimization option to any meaningful extent. So I'm just not going to check that at all. I'm going to hit convert to GIF. Now, if you're, GIF that you're trying to create is too long, it's gonna throw an error here. Just tweak your frame rate here 
to a different frame rate because you can go down to five frames per second if your video is going to be like a minute long that you want converted into a GIF. But it's easy to kind of play around with those settings until it lets you export something that looks fairly smooth, like the 12 frames per second looks pretty good in this. And when it comes to animated GIFs, you might be surprised how smooth they seem with just like 10 frames per second versus your typical 30 to 60 when you're looking at videos on places like YouTube. So that looks pretty decent. And if we wanted to, I could add other stuff like captions or whatever, but I don't really need to because the original video that I grabbed has some subtitles built in, even though it's in English. So I don't feel I need to clutter up the screen anymore. We're just going to hit save and then we can save this to our examples videos. Um, Saitama sad about sales day. And then we'll just save that. It'll go into the folder where I've got its friend. And now we can preview it here on my computer too. And it looks pretty good. It could be a little smoother, yes. But how big is that? Like if I look at this, this is only 15 megabytes. And as far as like an animated video of that length goes, that's not bad, really. It's not. And like the Snow White one is like one megabyte. So these are very usable now online, especially on Discord. So now I can go run around making whatever one punch man jokes that I want. So anyway, that's a brief look at how to do some trimming to your GIFs on Easy GIF. It's really pretty straightforward to use the different tools that are built in here on the screen to make tweaks. Some of them feel kind of janky because this is like an old school numbers input kind of editor, but it gets the job done and it does it pretty decently. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out for yourselves. I got the link to easygif.com in the video description below. And until next time, bye everybody and have a good one.